gas. Wow! <laughs> That's awesome! Holy cow, that thing will absolutely throw you back in the seat. I hope you can hear that exhaust note because that was, that was beautiful. Greetings automotive enthusiasts. Today we have for you a 1993 Cadillac STS sports touring sedan. Let's check this out. This is an amazing car. It is very rare. Uh, the color is called bright red and uh, very rare color on these. And this is really an exceptional car. Uh, it's a two owner, no accident car. A friend of mine actually uh, bought it from uh, his, him, the family. Um, his mother bought this car, it's a 93, and she bought it in 95 with a little over 9,000 miles on it. And uh, so it's been in their family since 95. And uh, it is just in excellent condition. I know it's got, you know, it's not perfect. It's got a few little flaws and stuff that we'll go over, but this is a very, very nice car. And, uh, and we've done a lot of uh, work to it to really make it uh, in top condition. Um, this is uh, powered by the V8, 4.5 liter, 295 horsepower, and 290 foot-pounds of torque. So it really gets up and goes. Go look back at the reviews in the day on this car. Look on YouTube and Motor Week and all that stuff. It's really fun to, to look at, you know, the battles in the early 90s of all of the, the Asian cars and the uh, domestics, you know, all kind of fighting uh, for supremacy there. But uh, this car is, like I said, it is, it is a really nice and kind of a special car here. So let's go ahead and we will zoom in. And it's got, uh, I have to look at the odometer, I think right around 80,000 miles on it, somewhere in there. Um, we'll get you exact mileage when we get inside, but let's go ahead and zoom in. Like I said, it's not a perfect car. Few little scuffs here. Um, got a little scuff in the bumper there. The lights are in excellent condition. Uh, a little scrape right there. But overall, you know, this car is really really clean considering the age and the miles um so we got a little doink on this plastic frame but that's removable uh we'll leave the frame on there but uh while we're keeping it i would remove the frame because i'm never really happy with tag frames emblem is in nice shape the grill is nice and if you look across from the hood you know a couple little bitty paint chips so little uh little detail and recon on this car and uh, can be made to look really nice. Uh, it's not one to focus. There we go. It's a little paint chip there. Come on, focus there. A couple little paint chips across the front. <laughs> it's uh, so shiny, it's actually focusing on my reflection instead of the body. <laughs> it's funny how the phones do that sometimes. Uh, lights are in very good condition. And got a little scuff right here so a little scuff on each side but I mean I, this is a nice driver car I mean I guess you could redo the front bumper and then remove that tag bracket but a uh, little touch-ups I guess if you really wanted to make this thing immaculate it could be done it's worth uh, it's really worth whatever you want to do to this car because it is it is a nice car looking across the hood there's no hail there's no dents or dings the paint is really nice original all original paint no accidents oh and i think i said the 4.5 liter v8 earlier it's 4.6 liter v8 all right let's zoom around here and then when i got the car um because uh, 
my friend, his, his mother passed away and then they really, really just parked the car. And so I, when I got it, the tires were really old. So I really wanted to do this car justice. So we've, we've spent quite a bit of money on this car. And one thing that we did, if you'll notice, is we put brand new Michelin tires on it. And these tires are brand new and uh, just really wanted to do the car justice. So we spent the money and put on the Michelins. And uh, I'll talk about some of the other stuff that we did there. Uh, let's see here. Just a little water spot right there. I'll talk about some of the other stuff that we did. But yeah, you look at even the stripes are, are really nice. This is a really amazing car. I love the chrome wheels. Looks nice. Looking down the side of the car, I don't see anything really there's one little teeny i mean this is just like super picky there's one teeny little <laughs> ding right there you can kind of see it in that ceramic pro emblem there or a uh, banner reflection but i mean that's getting ultra picky there all down the bottom the rockers look really nice and clean mirror a little bit of a uh, little bit of road rash on the mirror but nice windshield is very clean here's a picture of the VIN number windshield is very nice got the power sunroof everything works on that nice sunroof like I said no hail or dents on the car even looking around the keyhole and everything the door handles you know not a lot of fingernail scratches really clean give you a reverse view of that and then just real quick show you kind of underneath here a little bit but it is absolutely immaculate zero rust incredible survivor car keep going around here here's the back wheel really nice condition probably could use some detailing and get in there and Polish between the spokes there. Didn't really get in there and detail this car too heavy. Yeah, even around the wheel wheels and everything is nice. Looking across the back quarter panel. Very nice. Looks like there's one little tiny light scratch there. A little bit of touch up and buffing could probably minimize that. Again, the, uh, the phone. Is, there we go is focus, focusing on the reflection it's so shiny the car it's looking back so there's that little scratch there all right coming around the back here got the tail lights are in really good condition got the 32 valve north star it's pretty amazing engine when it came out really really changed things for cadillac incredible power economy Here's our third brake light. It is nice and clean. Rear emblem is clean. STS. And then here's the right side lights. Again, very, very clean on the lights. Even the uh, bumper doesn't even really show any loading scratches in it. Pretty, pretty darn nice. And yeah, there's, like I said, there's a couple scuffs on that front bumper, but let's see if we clear the rear bumper yeah it looks like the rear bumper is clear one tiny little scuff right there but very nice looking down the right side looks pristine no issues there again here's across the deck lid and up the sail panel and another view of the roof all good door is Immaculate. One thing, I didn't even notice this until actually I was cleaning the car for the video, but um, these are chrome wheels. This one here has a uh, satin finished cap on it. Um, never even really noticed it, but just pointing it out. Um, get on eBay or whatever, and find a chrome cap if it bugs you. The other three are all chrome to match the wheels, but that one does have a little satin cap. Just a funny, I never even noticed it. I've driven this car actually quite a bit. I've probably driven two or three tanks of fuel through this thing. Make sure to shake it down. Make sure that it's all good to go. Mirror is nice. There's some little discoloration. Again, this bone. Okay, there we go. A little bit of discoloration there along the molding. Front wheel. Wheels are really nice though. 
Don't really see any curb check or anything like that. And like I said, the tires are brand new. Brand new Michelins. There's your mirror. A little couple little scuffs there, but pretty nice. Right front fender, very nice. And then another angle of the hood. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and check out the beast that lies beneath. All right, we've got the hood open on the STS. Here is your original emissions data sticker. So you can see original paint this car. All original, there's your original VIN tags. See all that, VIN sticker back there. Got the original hood pad on it. It uh, coming apart a little bit. Just age of the car, one of those things. So we've got a nice AC Delco battery in here and the engine bay is super duper clean. I'll go ahead and talk to you about what we did in here a little bit. So uh, I had a belt squeak on the car. So we did a, a accessory belt. We did an idler uh, intentioner assembly, but then we found out actually that the crank pulley itself was squeaking. They're rubber isolated. And uh, so it was kind of rocking around and, and the, the crank pulley itself was squeaking. So it has a new crank pulley on it, the harmonic balancer. So all of that is done because that's the kind of stuff that can kind of leave you stranded if you're not careful, a belt or a tensioner. But the belt, tensioner, and crank pulley are all brand new. We've got receipts for everything. Tracy's Automotive did the work on this one. But look how nice and clean it is underneath the hood absolutely runs and drives perfect no issues no problems oh the hood struts are good jeez can hardly close it <laughs> wow <laughs> give you a view underneath here nice and dry no rust all right i'll go ahead and pop the trunk for you real quick before we tour the interior so we got the original uh, Cadillac gold keys. Very cool there. Key fob does not work, probably just needs a battery. Haven't looked into that, but does have the power windows, power locks, and they all work. The trunk soft close works. But anyway, go ahead and show you inside the trunk lid here. And it is just immaculate like new. And this car even smells like <laughs> new GM on the showroom. I really, I don't know, I talk about it. If you guys watch the channel, you know, I just, the smell of the car means a lot to me because uh, it really kind of tells you how a car's been taken care of. Let's go ahead and pop the spare. There's the original spare, never been ground to ground. There is the jack. So there, and here's, so look how nice it is in the jams and everything. Very, very clean car. And then I'll show you the, trunk soft close so watch this just set it down and there she goes soft close so let's go ahead and jump into the interior here and this is really an impressive aspect of this car as well the interior is really really nice the wood trim along here is pretty much flawless the only flaw in this door panel is right here where it's kind of bulged out a little bit you could probably get in there with some uh, epoxy or whatever, and you could probably bond that and and straighten that out if that bothered you or whatever. But I mean, you know, from pulling on the handle, a little bit of age, typical GM uh, issue there. Go ahead and get the tags here for you. And we'll come in and look at the seat here. The interior is in really nice condition. Just one little scuff right here on the seat. Have a little, little scraper, gouge, bolster, a little teeny bit of wear on the bolster and the thigh bolster, but other than that, really nice. And then the floor carpets are like new. And I got the floor mats over on the floor. I'll show those to you also. Uh, see the brake pedals, a little dusty from my feet. But you can see the carpet's in perfect condition. Headliner, got our sunroof. Uh, headliner's not sagging, original original headliner. 
we didn't do anything with that. We'll go ahead and close this shade here just so you can see that the shade is nice. Got like a little something there to wipe off. But you can see that is pretty much perfect condition. But you can see, like I said, the headliner is nice. Armrest, very nice. Even the cup holders are functional. So that is a nice deal. You go ahead and set in here. Oh. Here is our Cadillac wheel. You can see that the no wear around the wheel. Here's our gauges. Go ahead and turn the key on to show you the mileage. 82306. Pull that key out so I'm gonna listen to it ding. I uh, do have the Bose stereo system that works. Everything is good there. Looking across the wood on the dash, very nice. Even the pillar post, you know, a lot of times the material falls apart on those, but not in this case. Dash is perfect. Pillar post, a little bit, a little bit loose right there, the material, but that's not, I mean, you could pull it off and re-glue it if you wanted to, but I don't think it's any position that I would bother with that yet. There's our visors, still working. Sunroof works. There's our other visor. Doors, a lot of times these doors are broke off or something like that, but you can see there's our sunroof switch. Rearview mirror. Very nice. One thing I will say, the, the ashtray uh, cup is missing. The cigarette lighter's there, but the cup is missing. Funny story, I threw my uh, uh, I opened this up and, you know, had, you know, my phone charger in here and, and had my iPod case. And so I was like, oh, I just tossed my iPod case in here and it went and it dropped down and fell down. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I had to pull the, the little side deal apart to get my, uh, to get my iPod case out of there. Silly stuff. There's that. Trunk and fuel release door in the glove box. So we'll go ahead and slide around to the other side. Go ahead and show you the back here first. Again, the wood in the door panel is almost mint condition. Back seats, back carpets are pretty much perfect. We even got a separate uh, fan control back here, which is kind of nice for the passengers. Back seat is fantastic. Go ahead and pull down the armrest. And there you go. Super nice. One little mark there. I don't know if that's just a mark that can be cleaned up or what that is, but a little mark on the seat right there. And the back deck is nice condition. Then we'll roll around to the other side. Let me go ahead and show you the floor mats. They're in really good condition themselves. So I took it out so you could see the carpets. But anyway, you can see the floor mats here. Very nice, excuse me, very nice condition on the floor mats. Go ahead and finish the tour of the back seat. Super nice. Even the back seat pockets aren't sagging. Typical stuff like that. Kind of cool bird's eye view of the cockpit. I like that, very cool. Right rear door panel, wood is immaculate. Just a tiny bit of bulging right there. It's kind of obviously a thing with the car. Let's pop in the passenger side. Look in here, very, very nice. finest plastic trees that GM can harvest. A little bulging there. And here is the passenger seat. I just love the, I love the smell of this car. I wish, I need to come up with a smell of vision here. But I love the smell of 90s GM cars. I mean, it just has their own smell to it. It's just really good. Oh, here's our switches. Uh, do have the heated seats and they work. Well, there is our tour of the car. Let's go ahead 
and jump in and we'll take it for a spin. All right, we are strapped into the STS. These seats are super comfortable, man. And then, you know, it's got really nice uh, adjustments too. Um, you really get into a good position. Uh, and then I turned my heated seat on and it's getting nice and warm. Uh, let's check out our radio here. A little Barracuda there from Hart there. Uh, radio sounds good. Air conditioning is ice cold on this car. Heater, everything works. Cruise control. Uh, the only issue I've got with the car is I get an intermittent service ride control light and uh, don't really know what it is. I mean, I hear the air pump kick in and cycle off. Uh, the car absolutely rides perfect down the road. Uh, it's perfectly level. So I don't know if it's some um, sensor. I'm not really sure, but we do have a service ride control light, but that's our only light and uh, it runs perfectly other than that. And then you got all your information center and everything is always nice. Kind of cycle in and see all of your gauges. Very nice. Got the sunroof open. Let's go ahead and roll out and take it for a spin. No traction control on this car, kind of pre traction control, but um, it could use it because <laughs> this car will actually get up and boogie. So we just kind of pull out easy here and go for a spin. Uh, with the brand new tires, like I said, it just rides fantastic. And like I said, we'll uh, supply all the receipts and stuff that we've done with the car, um, with the engine stuff that I've told you. And there's some, a few other things on there too. I can't remember off the top of my head uh, to cover, but, uh, but she just absolutely runs and drives like a champ. Uh, the alignment is perfect. Uh, the suspension, there are no clunks, no rattles, no shakes, no shimmies. Um, just really drives out nice. I, I remember when these cars came out, um, the styling of them. I absolutely loved the Cadillacs of the early 90s. From the, from the big uh, Fleetwoods to the STS, I just, I thought Cadillac was doing a really good job. Kind of a little bit of a European, obviously, styling but yet with a Cadillac flavor. And I think they nailed it, you know, and they, they, they sold a lot of these cars. And, uh, but there's not a lot of nice survivors left. And there's actually, um, we've had this car for a little while. I've actually kind of been driving it and everything because uh, I just, I've always loved these cars. They just go down the road. I, I, <laughs> I said, I'll have to look back and see um, how many miles I put on this car, but it's, it's probably at least 500 or better. And uh, so it's just, it's just been a lot of fun. But um, to me, these cars, I just, I love the styling kind of then it's a, a sporty uh, midsize sedan and, uh, and it just really fits what I like in a midsize sedan. But, and then when you combine this car with the uh, kind of the parchment interior here with the bright red paint, it's really a, a, a unique car and a, and a special, special car. And it got the little uh, sport steering wheel, got the little thumb <laughs> thumb uh, positioners on the steering wheel and, uh, and everything like that. So I'll go ahead and roll out here a little bit and kind of show you how she runs. We're getting up to temperature now. I didn't want to, I don't like to jump on uh, the throttle on cars that are kind of cold. So let her warm up and get going here. But it just, it's such a nice layout. Actually, the dash kind of reminds me, honestly, of Audi. Um, really Audi looking dash, you know. Uh, and not your typical Cadillac. Not a lot of, not a lot of flash. Like I said, definitely in European inspired, you know, because it's, it's just it, not a lot of fancy bells and whistles and, and so on and so forth. It, uh, it's really kind of subdued, which is, which is really cool. Really fits the style of the car, honestly. All right, get through this light here. Let's go ahead and give her some gas. Wow! <laughs> That's awesome! Holy cow! That thing will absolutely throw you back in the seat. I hope you can hear that exhaust note because that was that was beautiful. And uh, wow! <laughs> I was that was probably a rolling about thirty, so it dropped right down into the power band. Here we go! Wow! 
talking about a 6,500 RPM redline? I mean, this was some high-tech stuff. This was a big leap forward for Cadillac. That is really cool. That's fun. <laughs> I've driven this car quite a bit, but I haven't been in it, uh, oh, as of recently. Kind of, I drove it around a bunch, and then I like to get everything, you know, fixed and get it kind of perfect and ready to sell and then clean it up. And then, you know, once I kind of, I, I like to get in it and shake it down fix some, anything that needs fixed or whatever that we're going to do uh, but then kind of once I put it for sale and put it on the market I kind of quit driving it and then just go into the next car um, you know because you just want to have it ready to go for the uh, for the customer so uh, I've had this kind of sitting waiting in line to get videoed here for a few weeks so I haven't haven't driven it uh, you know, probably in the last I don't know 30 days or so but uh, it's sure fun to get back in this car what a machine this is wow I'm going to miss this car. So, hey, well, I hope you uh, enjoyed the overview and the ride along. And uh, really appreciate uh, if you uh, like and subscribe. Uh, you know, that just uh, it just kind of helps us with the channel and, and helps us bring more cars to you. And, uh, and then uh, be sure to, uh, we started doing some other things with the channel. We started doing our, our car quest series there where people are always asking, you know, like, where did you find that car? What's the story behind the car? Or, or you know, who'd you sell the car to? Something like that. So we kind of started doing our car quest series. So it kind of added a little, uh, another kind of uh, element to the channel. So uh, be sure that uh, you hit the notifications button. That way, when we upload a video, you'll be the first to be notified because you never know what might have your next dream car. Have a great day and happy motoring.